This week, the New York Times published a bizarrely sympathetic profile of Elizabeth Holmes, the biotech entrepreneur behind Theranos, currently facing 11 years in prison for defrauding investors about her medical device, the Edison, which turned out to be a complete scam. But boy, you could barely tell that from the article, which focuses on Elizabeth Holmes' reinvention as Liz, a wife, mother, and contrition expert. Unfortunately, Love It or Leave It uses the same booker as the New York Times, so please welcome to the stage, Elizabeth Holmes. <laughs> Okay, here we go. <laughs> yep, that's the face, all right. <laughs> so you're going by Liz now. <sighs> sorry. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I dropped my baby. <laughs> now, hi, Liz. So, so you're going by Liz, it turns out? Yeah, um, you're strong. <laughs> it fits my new vibe. And my testing suggests people think it sounds... Friendlier. Oh no. You're testing. Yes, John. I invented a machine that tests likability using one drop of their blood. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. Anytime I use humor, it's another way I make myself more warm and approachable. Well, it's really working. I'll be honest, the New York Times article said you had dropped the weird fake voice, but if anything, it sounds weirder. Turns out, I did this weird Romy and Michelle meets Bane voice for so long that it's my actual voice now. And I have to fake a normal voice, but Elizabeth Holmes, that was just a character that I created. Yeah, yeah, I know. Everyone knows. It's extremely mm. weird. Why did you do that exactly? It's like I said in the profile, and this is a literal quote, I believed it would be how I would be good at business and taken seriously and not taken as a little girl or a girl who didn't have good technical ideas. But, but Liz, you didn't have good technical <laughs> ideas. That's why there was a trial. Mm. You lied not only to Theranos investors, but to the FDA and the U.S. military. You never actually invented the device you told people you did. And when you were told and you were actually told by real experts that it was scientifically impossible. You're so right, John. <laughs> it's like I told the New York Times in another actual quote I said. I made so many mistakes and there was so much I didn't know and understand. And I feel like when you do it wrong... It's like you really internalize it in a deep way. Yeah, you should. You should internalize it in a deep way, Liz. That's the whole point. And those weren't mistakes. Mistakes are ordering the wrong size black turtleneck and being too lazy to return it within 60 days, like it says on the receipt. Been there, sister. You didn't make <laughs> You didn't make a mistake. You engaged in years of deception. You were convicted in court. Exactly. This is what happens to people who girl boss too close to the sun. John, another actual phrase they use in my profile, society just can't handle a strong woman. Liz, you aren't going to prison because you girl boss too hard. You committed a massive, sustained, morally repulsive fraud whose victims weren't just high-flying investors, but literal cancer patients. Can you believe I'm going to prison, John? Me? But I'm so... How do I see this? Not the type? Yeah. Plus, I have two beautiful babies, which I think you'll agree, tells you that I'm the kind of person who should have been more sympathetic to the judge and jury, especially when I was eight months pregnant in sentencing. Hmm. Yeah, well, you did get 11 years, but, but it could have been more. Could have been less. But it could have been more. Point is... <laughs> I hope I'll be defined by the most important and impactful leadership role I've ever had. You're you're gonna you're gonna say being, yeah, a, being mother, a mother, of course. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, okay. People know that you can be a mom and a terrible person. Hmm, you really want that to be your pull quote of the week, John? <laughs> and right before Mother's Day, for shame. I love my children. <laughs> I have two. The baby whose actual name is Invicta and the other one. Okay. I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure you love I'm sure you love your children, Liz, but it's amazing to me whose in internal journey gets to be the one that's meant to matter to the rest of us. Well, look, John. <laughs> no, it's really rough and rough <laughs> with that baby. 
I'm sorry, but like the reporter actually said in the piece, and this is a real quote, I don't seem like a hero or a villain. I seem like most people somewhere in between. That's right. That's what it said. It also noted that the reporter caught me dancing with my husband. Oops, we're so romantic. I'm a nuanced, complicated, beautiful blonde mother with a lot of understandable reasons for doing what I did. Yes, I made mis mistakes, but I also have a family who will be punished by my absence. <laughs> But by my absence. But prisons are filled with nuanced, complicated people, Liz. People who have kids and shame and hope and a desire to prove that they're more than their worst decisions. They should get their own New York Times profile. But they can't. That's the point. Really? It's not like it was hard. You just go up to the people shouting outside the courthouse on your way back to your rich husband's family's compound, and you say you're willing to talk with certain ground rules. Oh, okay. I, th <laughs> I think I speak for. <laughs> I think I. Yep. I think I speak for everyone when I say, "How did you get a handsome rich husband? How do you get everyone to give you money? How do you ensorcel all this Times reporter? Are you Kilgrave from Jessica Jones? Are you a fucking witch?" Wouldst thou like to live deliciously? Oh, no. <laughs> it's, it's just amazing who gets to be a protagonist, like who gets to be treated like their perspective is valid and human and worthy, and who remains faceless. It's amazing who can commit felonies without ever being a felon, and who gets treated like a felon when they walk out their front door. But you don't care about any of that. I really don't. You, you use people. You don't fix anything. You're a fraud. That's right. Hey... Do you want to hear about my new invention? Oh, no. Oh, no. Liz, what is it? It's a machine that tests dozens of dozens of diseases using a lot of your blood. <laughs> like way, way, way too much blood. All right. Elizabeth Holmes, everybody. Get out of here. Oh, no. Liz, you, 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 got it. you forgot your baby. I'll take my baby. <laughs> okay. There goes my hero. <laughs> Elizabeth Holmes, everybody.